Well, most of my working life I've been dedicated to preserving the maritime skills of the old uh, boat builders and uh, that also extends to uh, maintaining uh, beautiful models that they built in those days. This was built by Bert Emery and uh, the dinghy I'm going to show you later was built by him as well. Uh, so it's important to uh, keep them looking good, you know, uh, keep the dust off them. So I'll show you uh, how to uh, clean uh, a boat, a model boat, uh, the right way. This is the model I'm going to clean today, which is a beautiful little skiff, deserves to shine. What you'll need is a vacuum cleaner, a, a stiff bristle paintbrush, a packet of baby wipes, some cotton wool twin tips, and a pop stick. I start off by removing any loose bits so they don't get damaged. Put them off to the side. And then I get the vacuum cleaner with the little stiff bristle brush and start taking away the surface dust. Get into every little nook and cranny and just make my way down the down one side and then the other and usually I will do all of these processes twice so I'll go around and give it a good clean with the, with the paintbrush and then I'll go around and do it again okay so once I've cleaned the surface with the paintbrush I get a baby wipe and I'll just wipe down the, uh, the big flat surfaces with the baby wipe. It gets away the bulk of the grime and as I said before I do this process twice. I take off the, the grime and then give it another clean as well with the baby wipes. Okay, so once I've done that, then I will get one of the cotton tips and I'll squeeze the, the cotton end on with one of the baby wipes, the, the moisture in the baby wipe, and uh, get that nice and soggy. And then I can get into the really tight little corners that you couldn't do with the, with the cloth. Go around and get into every little nook and cranny. It's time consuming but really worthwhile. Then I get the pop stick with the baby wipe to get into the very fine little gaps. Go all the way around doing that. If I need to get even finer, I can get the pop stick and sand it thinner if I need to. That's basically what you do. And there's the result. Looking just like new. Enjoy your work.